Hey guys, this is Claudia here from The Bookkeeping Experts. I've been a bookkeeper for a long time, an accountant as well, and QuickBooks Online coach. Today we're going to talk about a popular subject. Everybody's getting ready for the, filing their taxes, and some of you may still be falling behind with a lot of transactions to clear. Okay, so how can you do it a lot faster? I'm going to show you a few tips that's going to help you clean all those transactions in banking. Uh, and hopefully this is going to help you get it done quickly. And then after that, just keep up with it so that you can know your point of reference and take your business to the next level. Okay, without much further ado, let's go to QuickBooks Online. All right, so this is the sample company and um, we have a few few pages of transactions here and what we're gonna do here is do a lump sum on those transactions right so we want to make sure that we're careful not to ignore the transactions that came from um, from integration such as Shopify or Square or anything like that um, and at the same time we want to be able to create rules and 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 um, and categorize multiple transactions at the same time. All right, so usually we want to do it with the, the expense transaction. Once again, if you do enter expense in QuickBooks Online, you want to avoid doing that because you want to make sure that you find those matches. You find if there is a match, you got to find those matches. Okay, with QuickBooks Online, I wanted to show you that there are a few filters that you can use. So if I'm looking for expenses, did you realize that I kept clicking on spend? Okay, but first of all, for those of you who don't know where I am, on the left-hand side, I, I'm on the accounting view. And on the left-hand side where it says banking, go ahead and click on banking and you're taking to the transactions for review. So those transactions still need to be categorized. When you categorize them, they go to categorize and that's where you will find if you need to make correction, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and select all transactions that are expense and I'm gonna put here, it's called Amazon. Okay, so there are quite a few of them. And let's suppose that the majority of the transactions are supplies. And some of them may be equipment, okay? So those two large ones are equipment. So I'm, I'm just gonna select everything and then I'm gonna click on those two transactions here. They're actually equipment and I know I already researched them okay and now after i selected everything I'm, I'm just gonna click on update and i'm gonna say that it's an expense and i'm categorizing all these transactions at the same time i'm gonna add the pay um, can't emphasize enough in regards to the importance of entering the pay because if you do need to go back and find a specific transaction it is so important to pay, put the pay if for other reasons as well, okay? And the category is supplies and materials. But I'm gonna do it as an expense because it's not cost of goods sold, okay. Apply and accept. And these three transactions here are small equipment. Uh, so you notice that they are all under $2,500 and I already verified that those are uh, small equipments. Of course, this is a simple account. <laughs> so, but in this situation, you can log into your Amazon account and make sure that that's what it is, okay? Amazon.com and we are going to do equipment. Okay, all right, so <laughs> in one little strike, I did a bunch of them. So to be able to remove that filter, I just click on the X and it's gonna bring me all the expense back. Okay, see that 
in order for me to do this, I click on expand a few times until I filter by expands from the highest amount uh, to the lowest. Okay. All right, so let's find another one. Okay. So some of them you see you have uh, rules. And I like to um, set the rules so that I can go over them and make sure that it's not, du it's not uh, automatically categorizing it incorrectly. Um, and this is good too. Okay. So I'm going to accept it. So I can select, if I have a rule, you can select multiple transactions at the same time, okay? okay. All right, so um, I can create a rule. Another way for you to expedite is to create a rule so that you can go through every time that that transaction show up is going to automatically add. If I'm 100% confident that that transaction is always going to, going to be the same categorization, I can click on that transaction and right on the bottom. So it's gonna, if I click on the number, it's gonna open up. And on the bottom where it says create a rule, I can go ahead and click there. And there's a few things. First, I'm going to name the rule, and it is indeed. <laughs> okay, so money out. Now, when it says just checking here, I can click on the arrow, and I can select all the bank accounts. Okay. And on the description, indeed.com. And, of course, in the category, I'm going to put advertising. And if you want to tag to something, you can. Uh, and then I, oh, so this is reminding me that I already have a rule with this. So what I got to do is find out why it's not applying. I can go to the rule. And I can actually, in the search box, click on Indeed. And I'm going to edit. And probably because it's in, oh, well, it is indeed.com, right? So instead of indeed.com, I'm going to remove the .com and just leave it as indeed. And I'm going to put in all bank accounts. And I'm not, I'm not going to say that it's equal to a certain amount. I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to auto add this. Now I can test the rule by clicking on test rule. And there's two transactions that will automatically be categorized when I do this. I'm going to save it. And that worked. If you go back here, and if we click on Indeed, Oh, there is one, but the reason why it didn't it didn't work is because that was a return. Now, how do you categorize a return? That's a question I've been getting over and over again. Claudia, how do I categorize a return? Okay, you categorize the same way that you categorize the expense. <laughs> so we're gonna put here. Um, it is indeed so. A customer indeed in advertising so I categorize the expense as an advertising and I will categorize the return the same way okay so we we use uh, multiple or categorizing by multiple transactions we created rules uh, keep in mind it doesn't have to be automatically added and you don't want to be automatically added unless you are 100% certain it's always going to be that categorization. And, um, and we also went through how to uh, correct a rule, okay? And how to select multiple transactions with rules to be accepted. All right.
Okay, so this is it for today. Just a quick, quick, a few tips that is going to help you get ready for your tax return or get your books up to date, especially if you have a lot of work, a lot of cleaning up to do. Uh, so that that's it for today, folks. Thanks for spending this time with me. <laughs> I really appreciate. You could have been doing anything else, uh, maybe watching your favorite show, but you're here spending time with me. <laughs> appreciate that. All right, so we're gonna keep bringing this um, information every week. So if you like this video, give it, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our to our channel. We're gonna. Like I said, we're going to bring very good tips every every week that's going to help you bring those books up to date and get ready for your, your CPA. But not only that, get your books ready and clean for the ongoing track of your business to find out where is your point of reference. By knowing your point of rest, reference, you can know how to trace where you want to go, right? Beginning of the year. Time to do the budgeting and everything else. But before you start budgeting everything, it's good to know what happened in the past. How you know that? By bringing your books up to date. If you need any help, feel free to contact us for a one-on-one tutorial or um, or just uh, give, give put a message down below. If it is a simple question, we'll be able to just to reply to you. Uh, and if you want us to cover a certain subject, that you're struggling with, hey, put down below. <laughs> we can cover that next time. All right, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next week. And until next time, keep on smiling.